2017 in the year 2011 At one o'clock in the morning most people were sleeping The lights were twinkling, some people partying Heavy rains down pouring, and strong it was blowing Seems no one was listening, a huge storm was coming The tide getting stronger in the Mandalut River Roaring from the mountain and hurling to the downstream Destroying everything that is standing on the plain December 17, 2011, Tropical Storm Washi, or locally known in the Philippines as Sendong, struck the cities of Iligan, Cagayan de Oro, the province of Bukidnon, and some islands in the Visayas. The flood caused by the typhoon resulted great destruction and devastation to communities and death to more than a thousand people, including children. The place of devastation looks like ghosts and bodies everywhere, many buried in the seals. Communities erased, many people have vanished, bridges, houses, and cars were damaged. If not of the According to a government agency report, in Iligan City alone, 1,232 individuals died and 566 still missing, but considered dead after years of without information of being alive. About 5,249 houses were totally damaged and 14,874 were categorized as partially damaged. Most of these houses were located along and at the mouth of Mandalug River. There were 22,522 affected families in Iligan City alone with a total of 101,337 individuals or 38.36% of the total population. The disaster had brought total devastation to several communities situated along the riverbanks. It did not only destroy the material belongings of the victims but as well as their psychological conditions. Moving on could be hard for those who were still in shock, mentally unstable, and under a state of depression. Schools and educational institutions were not spared from the wrath of Typhoon Wasi too. About 14 schools were wrecked and apparently disrupted the school activities of the children. In particular, the Bagong Silang Elementary School situated in the village of Bagong Silang suffered the same fate with that of other schools after the whole village was submerged under strong flood waters brought by Typhoon Huashi. In those times, there were actually more than 10 or almost 14 schools that were affected. And one of them actually is this school, which is the Bagong Silang Elementary School. And after the typhoon, this school is actually not as what you have seen now. Because uh, during those times, there were actually rooms that were actually destroyed and devastated. And also the perimeter fence. It took months to resume classes that were held under the shade of trees or in an open space where it would be difficult for them to concentrate. Besides, many school children were discouraged and opted not to go back to school because all their things and school uniforms were carried away by the flood. And so what we did during this time was uh, we actually visited a lot of schools here in Iligan City. And one of them is this uh, school, which is the Bagong Sila Elementary School. And we saw during this time that uh, this school really need help. Okay? So that's why uh, we, we met as a network. LAFCOD together with, of course, uh, our networkers, especially the Liho and also Sumpai. We met and we discussed about how we can actually extend our help in this school. Then after that was the... Uh, we met also the principal, we also met the, the, the teachers and also some parents and to discuss how we can be able to, to help one another. 
and uh, lucky also during these times that uh, we met one of our partners, Philippine Luxembourg Society. This is actually an NGO based in uh, Luxembourg. This is also one of our partners. And uh, we were also very lucky because during those times we discussed about these things together with them. So they visited here and we actually uh, discussed with the teachers and also the principals about how we can uh, help one another, what are the, the needs, the urgent need of the school that we, that, uh, where we can actually uh, help one another. It is within this context that the Lanao Aquatic and Marine Fisheries Center for Community Development or LAFCUD, the Grand Duchy Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Luxembourg, Kolping Society of Luxembourg, the Philippine Luxembourg Society, and the school administrators first partnership of commitment to implement the project for the repair and renovation of Bagong Silang Elementary School affected by Tropical Storm Sendong and provision of psychosocial support and educational supplies to school children.